the objective is to still get what by itself? X. Let's start with what's least attached. What's least attached? Negative 2 or the minus 2? It, it's a plus minus 1, so we're going to do the opposite. Opposite of minus is plus. Okay? So we're going to plus 2. I always write it right below. So plus 2. If you do it to one side of this equal, you have to also do it the other side. So it's happening both sides. This one goes away and becomes zero. I'm not even going to show the zero. Though. I just show that it goes away. Then I'm going to write down the stuff that was left. 3 fourths x equals, what's negative 11 plus 2? Negative 9? Yes, so we added 2 on both sides and we've got negative 9. Good, Carmelita. If you if you want to say something for me to see it, Carmelita, um, raise your hand so I can hear a beep, and I'll know to check it. Okay, so looking at this, we want x by itself, right? We have something attached by times that we want to kill. We want to cancel. Sorry, you guys like cancel. So the opposite of multiply is divide. When you divide by a fraction, what are you doing? If you divide by the fraction, you're really multiplying by flipped. Same thing both sides. So you get that x is equal to, and so I'm going to put the 1 under that 9 so I can see it better. Um, I can reduce that, right? Two fractions attached by multiply. Divide them by 3 and I'm getting a negative 3 on top and a 1 on the bottom. You guys with me? 3 times 4 sounds like a 12 to me. So negative 12. And you can test it again. You can go back to the beginning to make sure it's right. You guys okay? Surely I can make it harder for you. The author, just as a forewarning, they try to get rid of your fraction first thing by clearing out the denominators. Do you want me to show you one like what the author does, or do you just want to deal with fractions? How paranoid are you guys with fractions? Are you okay with it? Okay. Let's do one. I'm going to show you some prep work that's optional, okay? So I'll go to another page. This is optional, but if it's, you know, people like Jennifer may want to see it, so I'll just show it to everybody. Let's say I had given you this problem. Two-thirds x plus one-half is equal to three-fourths. Now, the reason I say optional is because guess what? If you want, just go ahead and, let's see, add one-half and then times it by three-halves, right? You can do it in two steps just like before. But if the fractions are driving you nuts and you want it to look prettier, you can always multiply it not something that will make them go away. So what's, what's a common number for your denominators? 12? Let me highlight this. So we're looking at these numbers here, and we're saying, hey, if I wanted a common bottom on this, common denominator would be 12. So I'm going to pick that number, and I'm going to multiply everything times 12. This is like prep work. Prep work, optional. You don't have to do this. So what I'm saying is multiply everything on both sides by 12. Is that legit? I can do whatever I want as long as I do it to everything on both sides of that equals, can I? Yeah. So it's absolutely legit. So I'm going to times my 12 times, let's do this piece, this piece. So I put it everywhere on both sides of the equals. That's perfectly fine. In other words, I have... 12 times 2 thirds x. I have 12 times 1 half. And I have 12 times 3 fourths. Remember, guys, this is not algebra. This is me just helping you make those fractions go away. This had nothing to do with algebra. It was just making it prettier. That's why I said it was optional. Let's reduce these things. Let's see. On the first one, I have a, a 3 and a 12. What's that give me? So that's a 4 times 2, what do I get? 8x. Plus here I have a 12 divided by 2 gives me 
6, so I get plus 6 equals 12 and 4, I'm going to get 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now that we've done the optional stuff, let's stop the problem. So this is prep work that we could have done, which we did do here. Now to solve it, what do we do? We still want x to 1. We're going to get rid of least attached. What is least attached? 6. How is it attached again? 5 plus, so the opposite of plus is minus. Do it on one side, you also do it on the other side. So 8x is equal to 9 minus 6, 3. To get x by itself, we now have an 8 attached by multiply, opposite of multiply, divide. So we do the same thing on both sides. And x looks like it's a 3 8. I guess we'll just leave it like that. Could you have done it the other way? Sure. You didn't have to you didn't have to adjust it first. Do you want me to show you the work for the other way? In case you wanted to do it that way or are you guys comfortable both ways? If you didn't do the prep work, I'll just write it out really quickly. Or you had this, you had two thirds X plus one-half equals three-fourths. So with the same original problem, guys, you didn't have to do the prep work to make the bottoms go away. You could have just said, oh, let's see, I want x by itself. I'm going to kill what's least attached. That's one-half. If attached is a positive, so I'm going to say minus one-half both sides. That would kill it right there, right? Then I have two-thirds x I bring down. This is the reason that the other thing, some people prefer it. What is three-fourths minus one-half? That's the same as saying three-fourths minus two-fourths. Okay, so it's one-fourth. You can use your calculator, so don't be too intimidated. Okay. Then we want x by itself. We see that something's attached by multiply. When you have a fraction attached by multiply, the way you divide is by timesing by the reciprocal. So that's the equivalent of the division. So times three-halves on both sides. So then we're going to get x is equal to 1 times 3 is 3, 4 times 2, oh yeah, same answer. Doesn't matter what you choose, it's just whatever makes you comfortable. People doing stuff by hand a lot of times will choose the one on the left, but for me personally, if I have a calculator, I would just do the fast one. But that's because fractions don't freak me out. So remember the way we chose that 12 is because 12 is the common denominator. That's why we knew it would cancel everything. Oh, but there are some that would be nice to go ahead and cancel like that. I don't know if I should, though. Should I spoil you guys? Because I wouldn't have done it this way. Okay. I don't know. I'm debating something. I'll let, you, I'll let you guys help me think through this next problem. Because there's different ways you can look at it. Let's say I gave you this example. 5A minus 2X over 3 equals 5 fourths. This was the you try example in your book, just so you know. So we still want x by itself, right? You guys want to adjust these fractions and get rid of the bottoms, or are you okay dealing with just fractions? What do we want? What would you do? This is your task. What are you doing? Fractions are okay? Okay. In this example, it actually would have made it pretty, but... I would have left it anyway. Just that's me. Okay. So we want x by itself. What is least attached? The 5 x. Okay. And we know basically we we could have even put an and here if we wanted to show an and, right? 5 8 and negative 2 thirds x. To kill that 5 8 is just kind of dangling on there. Is it a positive or a negative? So to kill it, we're going to use negative. To cancel it, we'll use negative. So negative 5 8. I do it on one side, you have to also do it on the other side. Well, let's recopy what we've got. 
What's phosphorus monoclinic? I'm going to write out the work while you guys figure it out. You can just type it in your calculator and hit mass fraction, right? You guys know that? People with those good calculators. Uh, Kelly, you know that? How to, how to make your decimals into fractions in, in one. Let me show you. Actually, who, how many people have that kind of calculator? Two people? Okay, I'll just tell you out loud. Okay, so type it in. Go ahead and put in 5 divided by 4 minus 5 divided by 8. And this is for people who have the 80, uh, the 93 or whatever. You got it? Now hit math. So there's a math button on your calculator. Hit math. And then hit enter on fraction. And then hit enter again. So do it. Isn't that nice? You guys almost have like a little cheat thing you can use. What is it, by the way? And for those of us, if we had to do it by hand, We'd say, okay, let's, I'm going to use an 8 here. 4 times 2 gave me 8, so that's really the same thing as a 10 on top. Okay, you did times 2 for both, right? To make, to adjust it to this. This is me in my thought bubble of I don't have a cool calculator having to do it by hand. And then you just subtract the top. So, yes, you get 5 8. Everybody's going to go buy this calculator now before the next two. <laughs> okay. We want x by itself. So we have something attached by multiply we're going to divide. With fractions, that means multiply by the reciprocal, right? So times the reciprocal. I just always stick that negative on top because you don't want to forget it. So this stuff cancels. We get x is equal to, let's say 5 times negative 3 sounds like a negative 15. 8 times 2 sounds like a 16. Done. How you guys feeling? Other than just being tired. So we've seen several of that kind. I think I think we're getting better at it. Are you guys feeling comfortable with this basic kind here? Let's up the ante just a tad. Let's make it more exciting. Oh, well, here's just a really easy, exciting thing here. I'll, I'll do this. For example, and actually last class when I was teaching you, I already showed you this. You guys have already had a heads up. Now, wait a second. You have two X's there. They're on the same side. That's nice. That sounds like right terms to me. How about you guys? So a positive 4X and a positive X gives me 5X. So we bring our light terms together. So, yeah, it's definitely, this is a very similar problem to what I made up. It's definitely possible to have to do some stuff work. You have to simplify these things using old stuff you already learned, like putting X's together when they're on the same side. Now, notice, guys, they were on the same side of the equals. We didn't do anything fancy. We just combined them, okay? So it's like you're allowed to look at the left-hand side by itself and then the right-hand side by itself. We didn't do anything else snazzy. They were already together on that same side. That's important because it can make you have problems later if, if you don't notice it. To get x by itself, what's least attached? Minus 5, so you're going to do what on both sides? Sounds good. You yeah, have 5x is equal to 30. To get x alone, you want to do the opposite of multiply, which is divide by 5. Same thing both sides. Remember, you're just stamping. And once you decide to divide on the left, you just automatically autopilot divide on the right. x is equal to, you got it. Good. 